Here it goes. Now. Last time I was here, 1982, maybe 83. So 38, 37 years. I want to come back and tell this story because it's one of those stories you think about at least every week. So we came down over here, right? Somewhere in here. And as we're dropping down here, we could hear all the noise back in here. And it sounded like it was a Boy Scout Jamboree, all the kids going crazy building stuff and just Boy Scout Jamboree. So Mark and Danny came here over the over here actually to the point and started fishing. And I said, I'm gonna go back there and see what's going on. They're like, yeah, you go back there and see. And we all agreed it must have been a Boy Scout Jamboree. With a couple hundred Boy Scouts. Building teepees and stuff. So they started fishing, and I went for this hike. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to go back and see what's going on. You going to come back later, Ken? Yeah. I'm going to put my beer in the creek back here. So I headed back this way while they went fishing. And this is like the middle of October, and there was snow around. There's a little snow here, snow there. So I come back here thinking, yeah, there's got to be a, and there was no trails here then, no trails. Back in here, and come back and, and of course this wasn't here either. And you can tell what an awesome place to camp way in the mountains, and this, this is not an easy place to get to. And you can see why we didn't come back here. We went along the on the lake here. So even above all this noise of the waterfall, we could hear all these people back here in this box canyon. And I'm like, man, there's got to be a bunch of Boy Scouts back here. The Boy Scout Jamboree. Hundreds of Boy Scouts. Having a jamboree. So I come back here. I don't know where it was exactly. Might have been over here on the other side. But I came running back here, or I was walking. I think I was over this way more. I saw a mini creek right over here. Is there another trail over here somewhere? Yeah, right here runs some creek. The mirror is like a little box canyon. I don't remember crossing the creek. Man, things look different so many years later.
Yeah, I don't remember crossing the creek. I'm trying to find where, where that freaking force field thing was. I remember they were fishing right where the water went into the lake. So maybe we'd already crossed over. It was October. It was mid, I think it was middle of October or so. so maybe that maybe that wasn't so bad then. Very not bad. Just, Yeah, it was over there more. It was up that canyon. So we actually crossed the creek somewhere. I don't know where. But I don't how long you want to hang out here, Ken? I'd rather get back in the light. I mean how long do you think we got till dark? Uh four fingers? I probably got two hours. Two hours before dark? Let's see, where's the sun? No. I hope Wait. not. Three so that's, hours. Yeah, let's go now in case we get messed up. If we go four fingers at a distance, we yeah, an hour. roughly. Depends where you're at in the earth, I think. Anyway, to make a long story short, there was a story I've been thought, thought about now, like, who would that be? I told the story at least 200 times. Yeah, over 200 times told this story. Let's take a path here. It was that canyon over there. I went back into a cool little box canyon and it was like the most cherryest places to camp. Here's a path, huh? Yeah, we were more over this way. They were fishing right out here. Yeah, I remember it was real narrow where they were fishing. Like a two-step crossing. Boom. And I went back over. Shoes, I ran back over here. Hey, it doesn't matter. I thin out down here. Yeah, they're fishing right out here. Damn. Yeah, a little back eddy develops here, aren't it? They were fishing right out here. Remember this spot. There was snow back then. There was this is all snow. This was all snow here too, and ice. And this is in the middle of October. It hadn't really snowed. Maybe it snowed a couple of times. Look, some of us here. Looks like today. Hey yep.
Hey, you see why they were fishing here, huh? Hey, it drops off who knows how deep, man, deep. Yeah, well, it's stuff coming in here. Just letting the flies go out. They're fishing right here. So I headed back this way. Back this way in that canyon. You see the Boy Scout Jamboree. And I come, I went back there. What? Yeah, you think, is this where cycling is up here, you think? Yeah. So we can drop around that to, to, uh, in jar and down the slide, probably, huh? But look at this, isn't this, you could drink this water? Man, what a place to spend a couple of days, huh? How I did, this is like right out of like, early Pink Floyd, Uma Guma, huh? Cool, look at kind of flows in here, it looks like it's going that way, and the wind's pushing it too. This is just yeah, a flow that's pushing. So it's probably circulating. Yeah. There's not enough wind to push anything. Well, I guess there is anything on the surface. Anyway, back to my story. <coughs> Amazing fucking story. People think I was on drugs, and I wasn't. In fact, I was at the end, pretty much the end of nine years with no caffeine, no pot, no, no drugs. No drugs. None whatsoever. You know, what were you on? Anyway, they're fishing right out here. I go back there, and I get just a little bit further back, and I'm walking along, so like this boing. Like, wow, what's this? Like an invisible, only I relate to is a force field. And as soon as I hit it, all the noise stopped of all the kids and shit. And I could look, and I couldn't see anybody. And all of a sudden, there was this giant freaking cyclone came spinning out of here and just took off. It was a weird cyclone, it's like you tell, it was a huge, like a big collapse in pressure, I guess, and cleanses like a giant dust devil, and it all just went spinning off. And it's force field, I like, I like, I pushed on, you could feel, it's like, you could just feel the energy, more of energy pushed into the harder push back. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's like I'm running all the way back here to Mark and Danny, and they're fishing, and I go, what was it? How many kids were there? Well, I checked these boots out. Are these yours? Man, this is like today or yesterday. No, he didn't come here. The, the one guy, he said he camped at uh, King Lake and then he hiked to the summit. He did? Yeah. That, no. Yeah. He camped, he, I didn't think he said that. He camped at Snow King Lake and he, then he, went, he summited and he came back. I thought he was on the ridge and he... So we do go... Cyclone Lake. He might have, no, he said he saw somebody at Cyclone Lake. I, I think he camped here. Nah. He, He's on the ridge, isn't he? Anyway, I come running back and I told him there's no one there. There's no one. Like, hey, what is the jamboree? There's, there's like hundreds of people back there. We heard them. And I go, there's no one there, Mark. Go back and look for yourself. And so they didn't believe me. And Mark and Danny dropped their poles, set them here. And they went back. And they weren't gone more than 10 minutes. And they came running back this way. And their eyes are as big as silver dollars. And they're like, let's go now. I'm like, wait a minute, let's go now, 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 let's go. And you know, they left their, I think Danny left his pole, Mark left it, and we took off running. And we ran. They didn't want to talk about it. We ran all the way back up the hill here and ran almost all the way back to Found Lake. I mean, they were pulling ahead of me because I was in my late 20s. They were in their early 20s. And they, I was afraid of losing them and being left behind because they were so scared. And they, they didn't want to talk about it. No, don't want to talk about it. It was one of those times I'm like, man, I could have sworn there's got to be an alien portal in there. It's the only thing is aliens visit this place from other dimensions, I guess, other other universes, or maybe this universe. And, and you can see why they want to come here. You can see why they want to come here. This is one. I, I bet I've been to over, oh, easy, over 200 lakes in Washington. How about you? Think about it. Yeah, easy, huh? Add up eastern Washington and stuff too, and all the lakes you drive into. I mean, you know, you can't count like Stevens and so and big lakes like 